Hello reward clinicians, this is Ali Nese with a quick tutorial here for you regarding a question I received on our website. I got a question about the uh, rate of calcified teeth that I get at my clinical practice that I can't access clinically and I thought that was a really good question. So let's come back and talk about that. Now I really like this question because the purpose of this question primarily is to validate the experience of one operator in terms of finding canals and compare it to another operator which will then at least tell us whether it is, you know, if you find let's say operator A is running into uh, one or two uh, teeth a month that he or she cannot access due to calcification, you know, how does that compare to the rate of the other operators uh, across, you know, the same kind of a market. There are different uh, type of practice compositions and then for example if my practice composition here in downtown Boston is one that involves primarily uh, a younger student population it is going to be a very different experience than somebody else is practicing in a retirement community that is running into a much older patient population with loss of restoration and stroke calcification. So this is first thing to keep in mind and understand that that's one of the main differences in terms of comparisons. So you really need to know what your personal market is and then be able to make that comparison based on that specific um, uh, market group. Having said that, let me just uh, add that I frankly personally do not run into a lot of cases that I can't get into, but that has to do with two main reasons. The first reason is my treatment planning. So oftentimes I get for consultation patients that have had a history of trauma and they have total dystrophic calcification. Now if there is no lesion, there are no symptoms, there's absolutely no reason to do a root canal in these types of cases because all you're doing in that situation is merely trying to achieve a radiographic look. Remember that the goal of endodontics is to address infection. Now, if you have dystrophic calcification that appears on the radiograph and yet you do have a lesion, that means that there is a canal in this tooth at some level and most likely it would be apical. Because calcification occurs from the crown down, you may end up having dystrophic calcification in the coronal part of the tooth, but at the apical level, there's still some remaining uh, canal that can harbor dead uh, pulp tissue that could cause the infection. So it then becomes a question of how do you access these types of canals and how can you actually treat them effectively? And that's where it goes back to the idea of having um, illumination and magnification because that really is the key point here. Illumination and magnification is going to allow you to see better using ultrasonics and water, having and uh, combining uh, the, uh, your understanding of the pulpal morphology and anatomy and then getting yourself properly oriented with the tooth which means not isolating that tooth alone but give yourself a few different teeth around the tooth so that you can have proper orientation with the jaw and the adjacent teeth for a comparison will help you achieve proper uh, access lines so that you don't end up perforating off to the side. Another trick that I have shared in the past has been the idea of using the radiograph, taking biking radiographs and then adding the biceramic sealer or some other radio opaque material to inject into your access preparation so you can get an impression of the tooth as you are accessing and going down. And sometimes the material can actually get into the canal that's calcified and you will find that it's easy to clean it using biceramic, using the ultrasonic and water. I will have a whole case that I'm going to share with you in one of the case-based learnings that actually showcases this specific um, technique. To sum it up, the idea of what kinds of cases you should treat and what kinds of cases you shouldn't treat, it really comes down to the idea of doing a proper diagnosis first to see what kind of case you're dealing with. Is it uh, just dystrophic calcification or is there necrosis involved? Then applying the proper treatment plan of treating a case like that or not and then lastly using the right techniques with the aid of proper orientation, radiographs prior to uh, access preparation, and ultrasonics, magnification illumination, and then lots of practice in order to get to it. And it, it, when it comes to practice, there is no better practice than having um, extracted teeth for this purpose. Do as many extracted teeth as you can because that will certainly help improve your ability to find access and find uh, canals. CBCT is also a great adjunct but it really doesn't tell you because it doesn't have enough resolution to see if there is a canal or not. It still comes down to uh, practice and treatment planning and uh, that's basically it. I hope you found this information helpful.